Yep. Oh, movie date one. Hello, I am Jennifer. Welcome to our home movie. It's been with me all of my life and will never leave me. Something that can be changed, but only for six to eight weeks. I used to want to be someone different, just so I could be like everybody else. Now I've come to realise that is who I am. It's part of my identity. I think as a child it affected me more in primary school. Although this would happen on a daily basis, there were also other children getting teased for all sorts of things. Children can be the coolest critics, so I had no choice but to live with the comments I used to get. Ginger Winger, they have no soul, and they're not real humans. Carpet bonnet, that's always a good one. Would this be the case if I were a natural blonde or brunette? I, I do think you can get really nice blonde hair. People with brown hair seem to be sexier than the rest. Depends on personality. Apart from this, growing up with ginger hair has not really affected me. People just assume that because of the colour of my hair, I must have been bullied. Why should the colour of my hair define how people treat me? People with ginger hair seem to be stranger than everyone else. Now, I don't know if it's because they've like been bullied and stuff from when they were younger, or if it's just a thing that they all have. Definitely fiery temper. Uh, some, you t some of them you get good, quite good looking uh, ginger hair people, but not mostly all the time. Uh, I'm naturally ginger and I dye it every six weeks. I don't know, it's a bit weird. Being ginger doesn't bother me anymore. I've come to like it and realise that it really has made me who I am. My friends say I wouldn't be the same if I wasn't ginger, which is probably true. It's part of my heritage and anyone should be proud of their family history. Plus, with only 1-2% to 2 of the human population being ginger, we really shouldn't be in a rush to get rid of them. Nicola, that girl from Girls Aloud is ginger. Ed Sheeran. Yeah, it's Best right. thing to happen to gingers. Definitely. And it's on television, I think, tonight, Chris Evans. And he gets on my nerves, he's a bit, he's a bit loud. Ed Sheeran is ginger. Rupert Grint, no, is it Rupert Grint? Yeah. Ron Weasley. Gingers throughout the world have had to come to terms with ridicule from a young age, and it's now become acceptable to insult the ginger hair colour. Without the ginger gene, there would not have been the French Revolution, the telescope, and more importantly, the Spice Girls. Napoleon, Galileo and Jerry Halliwell, they all have the ginger gene and have all influenced the way we live today. So is being ginger really that bad? 